In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the best coverage defenses in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the Nickel 3-3 Cub. And what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go into our packages in the Nickel 3-3 formation, and we're going to put this on the safety nickelback package. Now, what you're going to need to do is you are going to need to go through and make sure that you have the right, correct players that you want where you want them. So my recommendation from an ability perspective uh, for this defensive scheme is to have some kind of deep route KO, inside shade slot cornerback, good man coverage corners on the outside, and the safety positions, really what I like to recommend is some type of deep out zone knockout style ability as well. Now, if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on the nickel 3-3 formation um, or 3-3 cup formation, it's going to be linked down in the description. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to set a couple of different audibles. We're going to set the Samuel Blitz 3, and we're going to set the OLB, OLB Blitz 1. So you see these two plays. We're going to kind of run a little bit of a cover 1 style um, of coverage, and we're going to come out in the play LB Blitz 1 out of 3-3. Three, three. So what you're going to notice here is when we audible down into the OLB Blitz 1, that safety is going to move on to the right side. This creates really good alignment for what we're going to want to do defensively. And what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of manually move that deep guy back down. We're going to put both of our safeties in outside thirds. That's the, why we use that safety nickelback package. And then from there, we're going to man up our linebackers on the running backs and tight end. And then we're going to shade our coverage underneath that shading of the coverage underneath is super super important and what you will notice here is you will literally funnel everything over the middle of the field to your user it's almost it, it's difficult to literally even throw a drag route over the middle of the field now again super simple audible to all be blitz one what i would do is walk this guy down kind of about right there now the beauty of the coverage defense is the alignment in which you have the formation as well as the fact that let's say for example that they run a corner route um, to the right maybe they run like a little slant c route and then they block the running back right something like this okay then what you're going to be able to do here is you can also kind of tweak the coverage a little bit as they have tendencies one of my favorite tweaks is to run a third on the left side like this um, and then go ahead and take that linebacker and man him up on the solo receiver. So we're going to bracket the solo receiver. If the running back goes on a route, I have to guard him. But since he doesn't, I'm able to basically be free over here. And you're going to see that these outside thirds do such a good job at bracketing the corner routes, which are the number one way that most people like to beat man coverage. Now, what makes OLB Blitz really good is also the fact that these thirds are coming about, they're like we're down in the box with these thirds. That's actually super helpful um, because they're going to play and engage with the corner routes a lot earlier than they would otherwise. So you see like for this example here, he's with that corner route from the jump. That's double teamed from the jump and it runs right into where that third is going to go. So as you can see, super, super good coverage. Now, you might be asking, how do we apply the same concept to gun tight, right? How do we apply the same concept to gun tight? We know that gun tight's one of the best offenses this year. Fairly simple. We're gonna go down into um, OLB, OLB Blitz 1. Same basic thing. Where's the safety? I wanna drop this guy opposite of that other safety. So in this example, we drop him down to the right. Now you see both safeties are in the box. That's super important. And then we're going to cross man onto the tight end and we're gonna shade our coverage underneath just like this right here. And typically what you're going to see here is another thing you could do, again, is you could third and, 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 and then outside third like this. That's another really, really good way to play um, to, to play this coverage. But um, we'll, do it, we'll do it like this for now. So this is PA slot cross, one of the best plays in the game. We're going to put that corner route over there to the left side. My job as a user is I'm going to be sitting in the middle of the field. If I see something like this here, I'm going there. The tight end is one-on-one. -on -one. That's why these guys up middle, it'd be great if they had deep route knockouts um, on both of these linebackers. That will make this coverage defense significantly uh, significantly more effective. But again, just the simple the simple movement um, of these corners is super, super hub. It's so it is so helpful um, in terms of how this is going to play defensively. Now, if you notice that they're blocking their, um, if you notice that they're blocking their running back a lot, 
I would take that guy that was manned up on the running back and man him up on the tight end so he's going to press him. And then I would have that middle third, and I would have that linebacker on the right side manned up on a cross man against that circle receiver because he's going to be able to stop the corner route. But if they run something like this, right now you have cross man everywhere. And again, he's running right into a lot of different people. So if I click onto that player, that's potentially intercepted. Now this is all wrapped up in the fact that we can send pressure out of the same exact look so if this is the same exact look here what we're going to do is we're going to take that safety man him up on the tight end and we're going to take that other safety and man him up on the running back and now we're able to send our send five pressure which i love to contain that guy on the running back side just in case the running back does block and you see that this pressure gets in really fast the blitz angles from olb blitz one and from sam will blitz three are different than mike blitz uh, Mike Blitz 0 and Mike Blitz 3 from last year. So what you're going to see with this is, let's say I go LLB Blitz. I'm just walking this guy down, manning him up on the tight end. I'm going to take that safety that is on him, and I'm going to do some kind of glitchy adjustments like this. But basically just trying to get the running back guarded. But if you notice, if you look at this, these linebacker blitz angles are super, super good. So let's say, for example, that they run, we run, uh, they run slot posts and they block their running back, and they have this right here. This contain is going to be insane. You're going to see super, super fast loops around the back and gets pressure even against a blocked running back. So now they're going to have to motion block. They're going to have to do all kinds of stuff. If they are going to send five out, um, this is still really, really good. So another popular play that people like to run is at a slot post. They're going to motion this guy. And they'll do something like this. Notice that safety kind of floats in off the edge like that. That's only in OLB Blitz 1. You won't get that same alignment in Mike Blitz 0. But what you'll notice here is if they try to quick throw this, that wheel is going to get picked, and you're also getting incredible pressure, and it makes this defense super, super, super effective. And you can also, if you watch this, for the most part, if I go to Sam Will Blitz 3, it's generally speaking the same quasi-alignment. Um, it's a little bit of a zone man tell, but not much. And you can just see how good of pressure this has as well. And you get really good sheds from the blitz angles that are in these two blitzes I've found. So this is one of my favorite personal defenses. If you want to get my entire uh, defensive ebook on the Nickel 3-3 Cub, make sure that you're in the Patreon. We also dropped a major update in the Patreon that explains how to blitz post-patch from all kinds of different formations, including the Nickel 3-3 Cub defense. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.